guys something that I thought was really cool. It's called a Roxbox. Roxbox is a jewelry membership service where you can discover new jewelry pieces. They'll send it to you and see if you guys like the pieces. I've found it actually very beneficial because then I'll find something I fell in love with that I wouldn't have bought in the store but then when I piece it and look at it and I'm like girl yes it's everything to me it's easy and fun to accessorize for just $21 a month you will have hand picked yourself three pieces of jewelry that will be sent to you when I say hand picked that means that you'll go online when you sign up and you'll pick from different categories different pictures different jewelry pieces that you might actually like so you try out all these pieces in the comfort of your own home and you wear them on loan for as long as you want you purchase the ones that you love from the box and you send back the ones that you don't like shipping for both ways returning the ones you don't like and getting a new box is free. You get a prepaid shipping label for Roxbox and it will fit in any USPS blue mailbox. Roxbox has all types of different designers from Kate Spade, Andrew Scott, House of Harlow, 1960, as well as some indie brands because a lot of people like different types of jewelry. So there's also this thing called veto slash swap. You have the option to view every box before it's sent to you and if you don't like something in the box already before it's sent to you, you can swap slash veto it with another piece, another jewelry I'll piece that you want. You're watching the Bell's Push 2. You, 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 you. Subscribe, guys. Thumbs up my channel. My mommy name is Marcella. My dad's name is Uriah. And I'm Malaya Mimi. You think I'm cute? Let's play to the day because Bell's Push Squad. Hey, y'all. Today is Mimi's first day of free I'm up there already. Okay, let me not stop. Okay, wait a minute. Pregnancy hormones. This is not okay. Um, we're, we're about to leave. Say hi. Hi. Isn't she cute? Why is she? Wings. Got those from Torje. Whole outfit from Torje, for real. You can't bring Minnie Mouse. Why? Because you're going to school. To play with the other schools. To play with the other kids. Yeah, you're not you're not going with your toys. Okay, come here. I gotta take pictures of you. This is even not. Go show them. Where's your backpack? Get your backpack. Go get your backpack. Oh, well, she did not have the little mini like that, girl. Ooh, peep though, because the backpack, y'all, got the lightning bolt, and she got the silver wings. Ew. <laughs> All right, let me take some pictures. Look at my baby, oh my goodness. She about made me cry, we just took pictures. And she just was doing the most, like she's, oh my gosh. She did the most with her pictures though, like she yeah, is so cute. Yeah, go outside. Yeah. All right, so we're in the car. <laughs> I'm about to take my baby to preschool. I have her medical stuff from her doctors <laughs> yesterday. How do you feel taking your preschooler to school first? Hey! I'm not. I'm sad. I don't know what to do with myself without like. She's always like you get bright. You leave and go places. You were used to it. Like I'm not used to it. This is about to be so sad. Just have to like walk out of the building. Strangers, basically, they're teachers and people, but they're like people that aren't family. Like I'm used to. If I'm gonna leave her with somebody, I leave her with family. So she's never been to daycare whole entire life and this is the first school type environment she's ever been in and then to have to like leave her there that's gonna be hard for me It'll be fun to pick her up after she gets done that's gonna be exciting we're on our way to leave my baby yes cool guess whose first day it is Thank 
Here, put your book bag up. Oh my god, anyways, I can't. I can't even see me. I'm about to go get me car. some Fetty Wap dreads, y'all. Oh, I think it kind of hit me. <laughs> Why it took all day to cry? I don't know, but I miss my baby. Like, I'm just getting out the car and we went to um, a couple places and I had to go to the post office. I'm like, just getting out the car and like not having her. Oh my god. I can't, I don't know, like, okay. The reason I'm so dramatic and the reason I'm such a crybaby when it comes to Mimi, y'all see me ball. Like, I legit, like, the reason I'm not even balling, balling is because this is her school. Um, it's only for today, you know what I'm saying? Like, I know I'm going to see her today. Like, it's not going to be that long, whatever. But um, when I had to leave her when I went to Vegas for the weekend, y'all y'all see me in a car like about dying crying like my baby oh my god what was me lord jesus and then when we went to vegas um uh, for our anniversary i was sad and then um the whole time like i would have fun when we were out in the vegas scene as soon as we go back to the hotel it's like just me and uriah and i just be like i miss my baby then i have to go to sleep and wake up and be like i miss my baby and then i would try to like FaceTime her and it was just like seeing her would make me sad. I'd be like, Mommy misses you. Uh so like the fact that she's been with me all of her life and the fact that I was able and blessed enough to be able to stay home, like I can work with my baby, basically. Like me and Mimi be going into work together. You feel me? Like I don't have to do anything I don't want to do and you know, doing what I do so it's like having that as a blessing and it also means that Mimi never wants to take care that Mimi never left my side that Mimi has always been around her mama 24 7 all of her life she eats breathes sleeps me okay like she wakes up in the night comes on my side of the bed she don't come on your side of the bed she ain't worry about dude you feel me like she all about her mama like where is mama 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 so to know like like I don't know like my baby we're actually going to Cincinnati when we get after we get her I need to eat something because I haven't even ate nothing we're supposed to have a date but we have literally have done nothing in the time that we had like we have done we've done we run errands but we really didn't do what we was going to do so next time she goes to school actually every time she goes to school because she only goes to school twice a week so every time she goes to school we're gonna do like a date day, I'm gonna say day night date day type thing and just have uh, me and him like moment me and him time every time she goes to school so we'll wake up take her to school and then do something during the day with just me and him especially because it's going to be a new baby in the mix so it's going to be like you know we're not gonna have a lot of time for just me and him when we have two kids um but or at least having even if Mimi goes to preschool you know like the baby is going to still be with us 24 7 so it's going to cut our time that we could have with just me and him so yeah we're gonna focus on that and then me and Mimi will do our, our little like me and her just me and her time um when he like when he works and stuff like that so it's good because I feel like I'm gonna have individual time with everyone now that she's doing preschool so it's like I feel like I'm giving everybody a piece of me I'm giving everybody some time before the baby comes and kind of like throws a wrench and everything you know like a new baby isn't as a lot so 
yeah I'm excited for the future um, this is just crazy to me like I just cannot believe my baby's at school oh god but yeah I'm gonna be alright let's pick up in 90 minutes so I don't know why I just ended up like tearing up at the end it's just like I miss my baby you feel me like I cannot wait to see her face and to see what she's learned I'm so excited oh I'm so excited so let's go get me a knee did she see her? What's she looking like? Is she looking at Mariah Come on back. Mm -hmm. Hi, Did mommy. What? What did you do? Get that out day. your mouth. Get out your mouth. High, high five. five. Good daddy, high five. Yeah. Woo! Today. Yeah. What did you do? You you didn't know how to play? Oh, they taught you how to play. <laughs> They told you. Oh wow. Alright, yeah, let's see what's in your purse. I mean your purse. <laughs> let's see what's in your backpack. Well, how was your first day, mommy? I was I was swimming. You was what? I was swimming. You didn't go swimming. <laughs> you were so silly. What did you do? Swimming. What did you learn? Swimming. Swimming? Do they do like a swimming game or something? <laughs> What else did you do? Um, what else did you do? Cheese. Cheese. <laughs> oh. What else? I was gliding. What did you do in school? Gliding. Huh? Gliding. Garden? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> they have a big red Clifford. They have a big red Clifford? Yeah. Oh wow. And it's tiny. It's tiny? Yeah. I thought it was big. It's a it's a big gray cradle uh -huh. and then tiny. Oh. Okay. A little big red cradle and tiny. Wow. You did that. Yeah. You're gonna learn some things too. Yes. Yeah, I'm excited about you going to school. 